Today I'm going to work on the third module of the back row of my layout. I'm going to situate and shape all the pieces and then cement them together with sculpt -a mold so that it all blends together. Today on Model Railroading with Bill Masters. piece I have to do on this span back row there. The beauty of going modular is that I can pull these tables out and get to it very easily. So first things first, we pull these tables out, start cutting those mountains to actually fit that section a little bit better, and I'll get to work. So I'm going to have to kind of rotate this mountain a little bit to get this tunnel lined up with this point here. I'm not going to cut the whole thing all at once. First things first, I'm going to cut one piece, fit it in place, cut another piece so that I don't end up with something that's a disaster. I'm going to do a cut right about there. So let me take care of that cut. I'll do that out in the garage. I'm finding that this drywall saw is the best overall tool for cutting through dried, hardened sculpt mold and foam. All right, let's start cutting. Okay, now that I have that piece cut, I discovered something kind of unfortunate here. If I were to go with the cut in that spot. In order to meet the end of this table, which I would have to cut off the side of that tunnel because I gotta be in line here. I can go back to rotating this a little bit. I'll push that back a little bit. I'll try to make my edge of this mountain right here flush with the end of this table and then the track will turn when it heads into the tunnel. I think that's gonna be my option. And you know what, I think it's what I originally envisioned. I just kind of forgot about it. Yeah, let me do some more cutting. Let's go do another test fit, see what we got. I think that's where I'm gonna put it on the layout. I originally had marked it in a different spot. I decided, see, I didn't wanna cut that much off of it. So instead I'm just gonna cut that part. That'll look a little bit better. So I'm gonna have to rebuild the back so that it meets up within about two inches from the backboard all the way around. So if you're looking at it from here, this is the, the track is going to go over here, over a trestle bridge, and then it's going to kind of curve around back there and go into that tunnel. I'm going to start off by putting this counter edge trim around the table as a border and kind of a makeshift fascia. This is how I like to do it. This stuff is black and it, it's pretty durable. It won't stand up to my cutting and... Uh, uh, but it's cheap and I can replace it pretty easily, uh, assuming they still make it. But it's uh, self-adhesive in the back and pretty strong glue on there. I really like this stuff because it gives me a nice, nice defined edge to stop at while I'm building. I know this is the end of my module. I like to start out in the center of the back side, so we'll have our seam in the back. Start it right here, pull off enough, get it aligned, and then I press it down, around the table. I pull it tight, 
and line it up on the other end. Right there. That'll get it uh, in a nice corner there. You do end up with a, a bit of a sticky part, a part in the back there. What you can do if, if that is something you care about, uh, you can just take the uh, paper and apply it back. Yeah. Uh, and if you want, you cut that back. That's not something I care about. Uh, I'm building my table up to this point. Or you, you could even, you know, cut it down. I am actually. I like it to be at this height because when I put my foam down, the foam meets at the top right here. This is exactly an inch. Um, it works out on my table to be at exactly an inch. So here, let me grab a piece of foam. See? Gives you a nice edge. All right, now I'm going to glue my mountain down in this spot right here. I like to use wood glue. My reason now, this is not the reason when I started, when I started I just thought, you know, it's sufficient. Now, if I had used liquid nails for this layout, moving all of my mountains and all of my, you know, basically just separating it from the tabletop would have been a nightmare. The wood glue, although uh, it does stick pretty good in some spots, uh, for the most part, that just pried right off the table. right where I marked it. I'm gonna start building this out. I'm gonna build out this section in the front. I'll do that on camera. And then the rest I'm just gonna do myself off camera. So, I'm gonna take this piece. I know it's gonna go there. I got my pen. Let's see, I'll position it about right there. And then uh, mark it a little bit, so cut it down. Cut it down about like... I'm trying to position this in such a way that... And this isn't the cleanest way to cut. A hot knife is much better. However, my hot knife died. Okay. Just start grabbing pieces and Sticking them on. You don't have to use extra strong glue or anything. The sculptor mold is going to pretty much hold it in place. Okay, so I think you got the general idea. I'm gonna work on the rest of this off camera. All right, I've got this piece in place and I've got it shaped. And that tape is just holding it in place until the glue dries. So it conforms to the curve of the backdrop back there. On the floor, I just stuffed in pieces. I'm gonna put sculpt -a mold over the top of it. The corner back there is the uh, it's the shape that the mountain conforms to now. Um, I'm going to move on to shaping another piece that goes right there. That is that waterfall right there. 
it's gonna go about like that. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to make it conform to meet with that module right there. Probably we'll end up cutting this piece off so that I can snug it up closer to the side of that mountain. Let's do it. Now I'm gonna be cutting off this section of the mountain and there's a lot of expensive Martin Welberg plant material right there that I am just gonna peel off. Not while I'm holding the camera though. I have yet to put that into a container, but that's all stuff that I'm, expensive scenery material that I'm gonna clean up and reuse. Okay, I have this piece cut. It's gonna go right there, and this is all gonna become one mountain. I'm gonna fill in that with sculpt mold and the filler. Uh, but actually, this all needs to come up about a, a maybe two inches because there's gonna be a mill here. And I know that when I move that other layout module in front of it, that that is gonna be too low. The chute, the water chute is gonna be too low. It's gonna need to hit the top of the mill, the top of the water wheel. So I'm gonna take uh, and, and put some filler underneath that mountain uh, to you know, kind of raise it up two inches. That'll be enough for a base. Now I'll set the mountain on top of it, glue it in place, and then I'll fill in and cut back accordingly. At this point, I feel like I've got the whole module, you know, shaped and filled in as much as I think I can. The plan continues to evolve. So, all right. I was going to hit this lake. Uh, I was going to, you know, rasp it down a little more, and then I realized, nah, nah. I'll just shape it out with sculpt mold. The bed of it will be sculpt mold. And I also, so this piece was. So this piece was right here. This is actually more uh, Woodland Scenics uh, deep water pour. And I could not envision any way that I could blend that in with new water. I mean, you're going to have an edge there. Uh, I could have probably tried to sculpt it out of the cliff, but then it would abruptly end it. There'd be more water under there. You'd be able to tell. So this, this is gone. What I'm going to do in that spot? I still have yet to decide. Uh, I might still try to kind of make this come out a little bit to kind of make two separate water ponds. Um, I don't know. We'll see where the mood takes me as I start creating. But here we go. All right, everything within the range of this camera has been covered with sculpt mold. And, uh, well, the area where there's gonna be deep water pour, I'm gonna have to seal. I can't just paint that and pour the water over the top of it. I've gotta seal that up. Otherwise, it's all gonna end up on my floor. So, I'm gonna do that today. Got all the sculpt mold on there. And I did do the back. I, I don't want there to be any styrofoam exposed. This tunnel, obviously the train's not gonna continue. It's gonna stop at the tunnel. Uh, it'll just give the illusion that it continues. The I'm gonna put a mirror in that spot to give uh, the illusion of depth. And then uh, I actually don't have the mirror now, so I have to wait until I get it. 
Uh, when I get it, I'll put it on there. All right, there's the brown base coat. Got the gray coat on. Got the dark green coat on there. So, uh, yeah, see, that's how I joined two mountains together. I got my lake spot there. I'll have to seal that up eventually. I painted it right now just for all right, I'm going to end this video and uh, have a good weekend.